Hi, what's up YouTube? It's Dom here from Paleo Pickups and I'm back on another video. And today I'm out here in Toronto. I'm with my boy Vince. And today we're basically going into Toronto. We're gonna to do some thrifting. He's gonna show me around. We're gonna get a few photos. This is honestly one of my favorite cities. So let's get into it. around some places to eat for food because we are honestly starving we've been driving for about an hour and a half now this just took me to this proper canadian place called top gun burger we both had a burger and also we had this thing called poutine it's a canadian speciality it's basically chips cheese and gravy yes it sounds fucking horrible but it's honestly beautiful definitely recommend trying it out this one is 95. It's like, like crisp. Yeah. It's like a brand new. Yeah, I'm a Tommy collector, so that's why when I saw that, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> How beautiful this jacket is. This Tommy patch right there, a vintage jacket. Tempted to get it, but $400. I can't be cashing out on that. Right. So I literally just found this. Very something on trend, the split sweatshirt. The starters on the back and only for $10. This is a steal, so I'm definitely gonna cop this. <laughs> you just came across these trousers. They're kind of like a Burberry check. They're in my size 32 and they're only $40. I might actually go try these on. And we also have the lighter pair right here. Just came across this women's Columbia coat. Not gonna lie, the colorway is sick. It's only $20 in pristine condition, apart from the hood, but I'd rather wear this without a hood. I'm gonna try it on quickly, see what it looks like. She just came across this jacket. Look how beautiful this Varsity Bomb is. Billionaire's Boy Club embroidered right there. Leather sleeves at the four, and then the Billionaire's Boy Club right there. It's only for 175, which is literally about like 90 pounds. It's actually quite a steal, but I think I'm gonna give it a miss. We also found this. I was actually so gassed and I found it this Canada goose right here for 375, but unfortunately they can't tell if it's legit or not, so I'm gonna have to give it a miss. Saw these beautiful two colours of the fleeces collar and I just scooped this hill figure for $28. So definitely copping that. Boy Vince has found this Tommy fleece right here. It's like a Tommy fleece hoodie, the big patch right there in a size large. It's like a fleece bottom with like an anoraki top. Definitely gonna cop this for $40. I've literally only been to three stores so far and so far I've copped four individual pieces. Vince actually found me two of the pieces, so shout out to my boy Vince. Now we're gonna head over to a car park and get some skyline photos. So Vince has just took me to the top of this car park for this insane view. We're gonna get a few photos, literally the whole view of Toronto. Look how beautiful this view is. Got the beautiful CN Tower, whole of the city right there. this sick car right here so I'm gonna get a photo with Vince right in front of it the colors are gonna be matching this is the new Tommy coat I just got but literally look how sick it looks finished up thrifting there were actually loads more stores that I couldn't show you a lot but basically we're in a rush because tonight we've got to drive all the way to New York or well, Vince has and we don't want to wait till it gets too dark so now we're heading over to Graffiti Valley Ali Ali and we get some photos <laughs> I'm not trying to sound basic, 
So we just got back from Graffiti Alley and oh my god, I'm sweating. We literally had to sprint as we were gonna get a parking ticket. We we're only meant to be parked for two hours. So now we're heading back to the place in New York that we're staying at Vince's friend and I'll showcase all the four pieces that I got from today. successful day at thrifting i hope you look like that lookbook so the four pieces i got is this yellow and blue tommy piece that you saw vince down in the car i got this white and blue i think it's actually a women's columbia coat oh mate i'm just holding it the wrong way around here but you saw it on the b-roll and then we, got the top. <laughs> then we got the tommy fleece the nice bit on the collar right there literally when vince spotted this oh my god what a find and then last but not least it is the split sw oh, it's right there Last but not least. Then last but not least, we have this split sweatshirt right here. Something that's very on trend since Supreme dropped the split sweatshirt. It says starters on the back right there. Very standout colorway. We finally finished the fashion lookbook. So now me and Vince are gonna do a little competition. Basically, we're gonna shoot the beautiful model Kayla because we're staying at her apartment. Basically, all gonna take some photos and whoever gets the best photo, you can vote in the poll right here. I know Instagram's gonna be in the description box below, so be sure to go check it out. Blueberry, Burberry, but no. Yeah, yeah. Blueberry, Burberry, but no. Ten skin, mixed race, but a cup. Canada, weather, got a bundle up. I'm trying to worry, she hit my phone, she wanna. Whoa. I don't know if Dom has it in him to bring home the glory today. <laughs> Mate, I definitely do. First time for me. Okay. Yeah, it's better. It's better. He's done alright though, so we're gonna take these into the computer and see who can bang out a better edit. Overall here are the two final photos. Berry, burp, berry, but no. Ten skin, mixed race, but a cup. Canada, weather, got a bundle up. Huge thank you to Vince for helping out as well as Kayla for modeling. Their Instagrams and their YouTube will be in the comment section down below. If you're new to my channel, then please make sure to hit that subscribe button and also to hit that thumbs up. It really goes a long way. Overall, have a nice day. Go check out the rest of my videos and I'll see you in the next one.